हाई माई नेम इज़ आकाश मौर्य माई रोल नंबर इज़ ट्वेंटी टू एफ थ्री जीरो जीरो थ्री वन फिफ्टी टू आई एम हेयर टू डेमोस्ट्रेट माई मैट टू प्रोजेक्ट हाउस होल्ड सर्विसिंग एप आई हैव ऑलरेडी रन दिस कोर्स सो लेट मी फर्स्ट शो यू माई फ्रंट एंड पार्ट दिस इज माई होम पेज न्यू यूजर कैन डायरेक्टली गो फॉर साइन अप एंड फिल दिस फॉर्म आई हैव गिवन रोल बेस्ड एक्सेस कंट्रोल सिस्टम यू कैन सी दिस एम टी बॉक्स आफ्टर क्लिकिंग ऑन इट यू कैन सी टू ऑप्शन कमिंग अप अ कस्टमर ऑप्शन एंड अ प्रोफेशनल ऑप्शन इफ यूजर चूज द कस्टमर ऑप्शन यू कैन सी द फॉर्म गट एक्सपेंडेड एंड यू कैन सी मोर फील्ड्स आर आज फॉर फ्राम द यूजर्स यूजर कैन स्विच दिस यू कैन सी फॉर प्रोफेशनल सो लेट मी शो द प्रोफेशनल साइन अप the uploaded document should be in the zip file because uh, i want to i want that user can can be able to upload uh, many files and compress it into the zip file and can be upload easily not to be getting any problem as you can see the sign up process uh, completed successfully uh, let me show you the login system so if i wants to log in with the same email id just i have created so like this then you can see a message is showing up here that your account is currently inactive and documents are under verification and it's asking for wait for some time so let me show you the admin section first let me let me first activate this user and then i'm going to show other features so admin you can see this is a, an admin page uh the created email is showing up here and um, admin can download the documents by clicking on this link you can see the activate button here after activating this user the activate button is going to be disappeared and the block uh, and unblock button is going to be shown here for example let me do it for this example after clicking on this activate button i have to wait for some seconds because it's sending the email to the user that is his account is got activated after refreshing you can see this user got activated and because it's showing a block button here uh, i can block any user by clicking on the block button you can see you can unblock as well I have created some search features here. I can search user by email and location and the type blocked or unblocked. For user, for example, I want to search user by location. Then I am going to put Varanasi. So you can see the location Varanasi is showing on the top. Now let me show for the customer section. you can see all the customer listed here um, admin can only block the customers there is no activate button for them uh, user who is customer can uh, directly sign up and log in to the app let me show you the check box button feature if i click on this button you can see the only blocked user is um, searched by just doing this and refresh this you can see the let me undo this and the other is the create service page here uh, admin can create a new services the like if example i'm create for example i'm creating a new service here i have fixed some base price time required and some description for this job after creating it you can see a new service got created and showing up here i can update the details 
here and I can update any type of and after clicking on this update button you can see the service name is got updated and the price is got updated uh, I can delete this particular service from here admin can see analytics from here you can see there is only three professional and three customers are here the number are equals admin cannot change any detail let me log out and uh, let me show the now i'm going to log in as customer you can see this is the customer page uh, here in this table all the professional listed here and uh, these professional are activated and uh, unblocked if any of them get blocked or inactive then he is not going to be listed here now we gonna make a service request so for example i am requesting for a electrician job for while request you can see uh, request the requested service is got added in this table uh, customer can cancel the request anytime he can see the status is pending accepted or and all so this is there is a search feature i've made to search professionals based on location and their service type for example i want to search electrician you can see the electrician got searched here uh, let's uh, see the analytics page you can see all the analytics here customer can change uh, the profile details for example i put s in the end and updated you can see this thing got updated here and uh, let's log out from this page and uh, sign i'm going to log in as the professional uh, the i'm going to use the same email id uh, i am uh, sign up with initially when i open this app so this is my email id pass you can see the service requests are listed here for this particular professionals you can see two different customers requested the service from this professional professional can accept or reject a particular service for example if he wants to accept this service you can see there is a complete button showing up here now we are going to see the profile page where user can change the name and mobile number and all other details professional can see the analytics here uh, one uh, service is accepted and one service is completed is showing up here and this is all from this front end part now let's uh, see my backend salary and redis see there are five uh, tasks uh, listed here the first task is for uh, checking for pending request for professionals if there is a request that is pending then it's going to send email to that professional to come on the app and uh, perform some action on that pending task there is a task for exporting the closed request into csv file the third uh, task is to send the customer monthly report uh, it sends a uh, uh, pre uh, it sends uh, monthly report on this monthly report if, um, customer can see a pdf and a chart of the office performance fourth is the send offers task it is send uh, offers to the users and the professionals the fifth is the send reminders task uh, it send reminders to the all the customers and professional if the customer or professional is not active active on this app for more than 24 hours then it's uh, going to send reminders reminders to that users
now let me show my let me activate the um, salary bid Uh, you can see the salary bid is started and uh, it's scheduled the two tasks it's sending reminders at 6 am and reminder, sending reminders at 5 pm these two tasks are activated now right now you can see the task send the reminders is uh, received here and email is sent to the active user 